Let's learn a little bit about layers. And let's start with this um, very cool band logo. Very famous band, at least in their own minds. And um, let's create this uh, parts of the logo again and um, just to demonstrate how layers work. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create this new file. And I'm going to say file, new blank file. And uh, I happen to know that's 700 by 200. So I'm going to make this 700 by 200. Say OK. So I got this new uh, file. And in fact, let's save it just for um, just to be safe. And I'll just call it layer demo. And um, say OK to the defaults. And um, so I want to show you how these layers work. Now, first of all, you see it's created one layer, which is a background layer, which is a special layer that can't be changed in without um, um, duplicating it, or you can separate it from the background. But we'll leave that layer. And uh, the next layer is uh, just a back, uh, black background. And in fact, if we look back at this original uh, logo, and you look over in the layer panel, you can see the order of the layers, and one is a black background. So one of the first things I'll show you about the different layers is that you can actually hide one or another layer in order for you to better see how the layers actually work. Now this won't delete the layer, it'll just hide it temporarily so you can look and see um, it helps you sort of analyze what layer is where, etc. So I click on this little eye and you notice that this little piney hellbender text goes away. And then I click on all these different characters and uh, eventually I get all the way to where there's just a black background. And the way I, I literally made this is with a shape. But one of the things um, I could do is I can just double click. Uh, by the way, and that's one way I can move in this project bin. And then uh, the project bin shows all the files that are open. And there's this black layer. And I can actually just so, so note now that it just shows one background layer. But I can actually drag this up, let's say, onto this layer, and it turns it black. So um, this layer remains, this picture remains, which is, if I double click, I can see it's just this one layer. But if I go back to this new thing I'm building, it shows this background layer, which you can't see because it's on the bottom. And then you see a, a layer above it. And I'll show you what I mean by moving layers around, what's on the top and what's on the bottom here in a minute. OK, so um, that's how you can actually just drag. One way you can add a layer is you just drag something from one photograph down here in the project bin up into the photo that you're working on. Uh, now, there, you can also just create a layer from scratch. And the way you do that is you go down to this thing in the layer bin that's add a layer. So create new layer. And you click on it, and it'll automatically put a layer on the top. Now, you can't see anything there because uh, we haven't put anything on that layer. But we, aren't, but we aren't going to create a layer from scratch. But that's how you do it if you want to. And then if you want to get rid of a layer, go down here to the trash can. You have to be very sensitive to what layer is selected. You just delete it. It says you want to delete the layer, and I say yes. And by the way, you might notice that this layer has a... Uh, name, background, shape. So another thing you can do is you can change the names of the layers. So I could have changed it to anything I want. It says background shape tiff, and uh, I could just call it shape. And I'll just leave it at that for now. All right, so those are different ways to create layers. Uh, and I showed you how to view or not view a layer. Uh, and now there's an important issue of layer order. But let's go ahead and add something else, a third layer. So I'm going to go down here to, to, to this picture. And if you see, this is the picture. By the way, this is actually a uh, hellbender, an Ozark hellbender, the, uh, its face. And you can look that up uh, with the Google and stuff. But it's a really big salamander that's unique to the Ozarks, even the Missouri Ozarks. And I'll leave you at that mystery and let you explore more. But anyway, so let's go back to this thing we're creating. 
and let's drag this L bender, which by the way has been cut out of a regular picture using select the um, oval marquee and a feather, a feathering effect. That's why it looks the way it does, which we covered in a different tutorial. So now it looks pretty cool on the background, and I can move it around, and so I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, pretty scary and right in the middle of the black shape. So if you come back to the original um, shape you can see that there's actually this picture back behind everything else. So the order is very important. But now if we go back, let's go back to the one we're building. If we take the layers over here, there's a background one we can't see, the black shape which is behind, and the Hellbender picture, you can actually just click on a layer and change their order. And so if I take this Hellbender, Hellbender picture and I drag it, it suddenly disappears because the black shape is in front of it. Now if I put it on top, it appears. So that's one crucial thing is that you can change the order of the layers and whatever is on top will be what will show and the back, what's behind it, will just be the background. So that's how you actually um, change the order of layers. Uh, one of the other interesting things you can do is combine layers. So let's put a couple more of our um, musicians on this page. And uh, interestingly enough, see, it put the picture down below. So I drug it up there and you may say, well, I don't, I don't see any picture. Well, that's because in the layer order, it put this picture down below the others. So I can move it up, and now suddenly it's in front. So I'll put this picture over here. Now it got cut off, but that's okay. And um, so we might want to put it down there, let's just say. Well, now if I wanted to put, say, another one of these pictures up here, Okay, so now we have our layers here, and we can move them around. Interestingly enough, if you just click on one of the objects, it will try and select that layer over in the layer um, panel. And so I can then drag it around. And I don't have to go over and select the layer in the layer panel, which is different from some of the versions of Photoshop that I've used before. Uh, but anyway, so if I want to have these layers, let's say that I don't want to have to move them independently, I actually can turn them into one layer, and all I do is I click on both of them, and I can say Merge Layers. And then those layers now just become one layer, and they move, oh, I'm sorry, interestingly enough, I didn't have it selected, so... Um, but I can take these two layers and now they moved around together. If I apply effects to them, etc., then they um, all those things happen together. All right, so that's how you combine layers. And now we've already covered other things like how to add and delete them, how to move them around in order, etc. But one last thing that's really kind of an effect, but very common to do with layers, is you can change their opacity. And uh, <coughs> opacity, of course, just means how opaque they are. And that's the exact opposite of transparent. So you could say change their transparency, but I think opacity is clearly a cooler word. But anyway, so I have these layers like this and I go over and change this opacity and you have to be very careful about which layer you select but I say I've selected this one which is these two merge layers and then I go to opacity and I chain, click on it and turn it down to say 50 percent. Now if you look at the drawing you can see that they have considerably faded and it's a pretty cool effect because even though they're in front you can see through the back layer and you can see how that's really been utilized on this um, logo that I made earlier. So anyway, that gives you another uh, important effect that you can apply to layers. So that's how you can um, drag layers from one, one uh, from the project bin, um, how you can change layer names, you can change whether they're viewed or not, etc. And this is one of the most important things in Photoshop Elements because through the use of layers you can isolate dis different parts of the photo, do different effects, move them separately, and what appears to be one combined photograph is actually many different layers put together. So that's a little bit about layers and Photoshop Elements.